Hey guys, so I wanted to come in and I wanted to film this video to show you guys um, how to access a very powerful tool when it comes to the content creation um, process. Um, so one of the things that's really important and we all know Reign Supreme is Google. So whenever somebody's looking for a solution, they go to Google to try to find their solution. And in order for you to maximize your chances of coming up in the results of that solution, you have to have proper keyword um, planning and do proper keyword research to do it. And one of the best tools to do that is to use Google Keyword Planner. So I'm going to show you guys how to access Google Planner, Google Keyword Planner, so that you guys can use it in your content creation process. A really big tip is that when you are doing your content creation process, you definitely want to make sure that you start with a keyword or even a key phrase before you do anything. Um, you don't want to work backwards by creating the content first and then, um, you know, diving into um, you know, finding out what keyword you would want in order to, you know, in, in order to figure out like how you want your information to rank because it's going to take you a lot more time. You're going to have to change your copy and you're just going to waste so much time. So this is definitely the best way, you know, to make that happen and to do it without, um, wasting any time. So um, let's go on ahead and let's dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you're going to go into ads.google.com. So once you go in there, you're going to go on ahead and you're going to start setting up your account um, and you know start the process. So now one of the things that normally happens is it's the Google Keyword Planner used to actually be something that was separate from Google Ads, but then they meshed it together. So a lot of times when people come into Google Ads, they get tripped up because um, essentially what's happening is that, you know, you go ahead, you start your Google Ads word and you're trying to get into the Keyword Planner, but then you're brought with this screen to create a new campaign. So a lot of people think that you have to do and create a campaign in order to get the Keyword Planner, but I'm going to show you how you can essentially bypass everything thing and do that so once you set up your AdsWord account you're gonna come to the screen where it says um, new campaign um, it's gonna ask you about your advertising goal but you don't have to worry about that what you want to do is you want to go down where it says are you a professional marketer you want to go on ahead and you want to click switch to expert mode once you go on ahead and you click on switch to expert mode, it's going to bring you up to your next screen. Now, um, once you get to the next screen, it's just going to, you know, have like, you know, the random information. It's going to ask questions naturally because they're trying to collect information and trying to get you to create a campaign essentially. But again, it's not needed. You don't have to do it. You don't have to create the campaign in order to get access to it. So um, we're going to keep going through a few steps and then we're going to try to get access to the Google Keyword Plan. All right, so now that it's been loaded, you're going to see here, it's going to ask you, okay, well, which goal would make this campaign successful to you? So if you are the type of person where you do digital ads for other businesses or other business owners, um, this is essentially where you would go and then you start creating the campaign based on their business. But again, we don't need that. We're not creating a campaign just yet. We have to set the foundation and get the bare bones right before we move on to the next step. Also, if you are on YouTube and you are trying to essentially build your following and get your content um, monetized, I would highly suggest that you set up your Google Google Ads account today. Even if you have one subscriber, whether you have 10 subscribers, you're one of the phases and one of the steps in the process of getting of submitting your channel to get approved for monetization is you're going to have to have a Google Ads account. So rather than um you know wasting time within the approval process trying to, you know, follow the next steps. If you set up your Google Ads account now, you won't have to do it when the time comes for you to monetize your channel. So definitely if you are on YouTube, you're thinking about getting on YouTube, or even if you're thinking about running ads for your business, go in ahead and just set up your Google Ads account now and then just let it be there. So that way you can just check off that box whenever the time comes for you to go into that next step. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to go in ahead and we're going to click this little link down here where it says create an account without a campaign. 
right? So once we go on ahead and we create um, an account without a campaign, that's going to take us to our business information. So you fill it in, select the country, your time zone and your currency, and then you're just going ahead and you're just going to click submit, right? So once you hit submit, that is the, um, the last step of creating your Google Ads account. So now we can go into the process where we then can start exploring our account. So once you go in ahead and you do that, we'll click um, explore your account. All right, so we've come in, we've hit um, our homepage. You know, when we get to our homepage of the campaign, it's gonna ask you, you know, what kind of campaigns you wanna start, start advertising or anything like that. So typically what we're looking for is we're looking for a setting up here that says tools and settings, which I don't see. So even when you click on the settings option, these are the only three options that we have listed here. But in order to get access to Google Keywords, you're going to have to switch to expert mode. So once we go on ahead and we switch to expert mode, it'll then give us the Google Keyword Planner that we're looking for to start, um, you know, searching through comp searching through different keywords or different phrases in order to um, in order to um, find the appropriate keyword for our research. So now that I've switched over to expert mode, I now see the tools and settings option available. All right, so, so um, finally got our menu to load here. So I'm gonna click on tools and settings and then you have a plethora of options. And the one that we're looking for is right here. So in the planning section, you're just gonna go in ahead and click keyword planner. Um, once that finally loads, at that point, you'll be able to, um, you know, be able to search your keywords and search your key phrases um, that you need to essentially plan your content around. All right. So now you're in the keyword planner um, and it's giving you, you know, a few guide and a few steps, you know, to best use it so if you've never used it before um i've used it a few times i haven't used it in a while so i'm just re-familiarizing myself with it but definitely going ahead and go through um the guide just to get a better understanding of essentially how to use the keyword planner so it helps you discover new keywords you can also um, find out the search volume and forecast and you know once you find different keywords that you want to track or um, different keywords that you know you want to use and things like that you can go on ahead and save them or save them into a plan and then just go from there so that is the easiest way that you can go on ahead and get access to such a powerful keyword planning tool in order to add into your content process if you guys have any questions or if you like this if this was helpful um, please feel free to join my email list I am sending out emails about information and different things that can help solopreneurs essentially build businesses that can run with or without them so um, this is definitely one of the biggest tips and the biggest tools that I have discovered that has helped within my content um, planning process. I typically do not start writing a blog post um, before I go into Google Keyword Planner and use this keyword search to figure out what my focus keyword on my blog post is going to be. All right. Have a good day.